On a four-game losing streak with a tough division matchup ahead of them next Monday, the Browns are on a mission to figure out all of the mistakes that have left them with the 2-5 and five record. Cameron Justice tells us where the team's identity stands after all of the recent challenges. I just really do have faith in the, the people in the building. You know, top down, I, I really do um, have faith in those guys, have faith in my, my teammates. And, um, you know, I know there's a win out there for us, and, and you get one win, and it can, it can turn to two. The Browns are trying to remain positive, even though times are tough right now. After the loss to the Ravens Sunday that marks the longest losing streak under head coach Kevin Stefanski, it may seem a little hard to do. I think you guys understand how frustrating it is when, when you try to win in this league and, and you and you come close and, and you don't get it done, it's really frustrating. But in times like this last year, the Browns had a mantra to keep them grounded. Smart, tough, accountable. With new issues and challenges arising each week, have they lost sight of that identity? Everything's a test. Uh, and losing is hard, it's no fun, but it's a test for us. And and I do believe in, in those players. I do believe in those coaches. I do believe in our identity. It seems while they aim to get out of this slump and back to winning, perhaps that mantra might be useful to embody once again. Is there any part of of those three descriptors that you would like to see more of from this team? Yeah, it, it's all of it, uh, Cam. You know, we we want to be smart. We want to be tough. We want to be, you know, accountable to each other. We want to be a resilient team. It's, it's who we are. Um, and again, you're going to get opportunities. We got a great one uh, this week coming up versus a really good football team at our place. In Cleveland, Cameron Justice, News 5. The Browns record wasn't the only thing to not make it out clean from week seven. The injury report has some additions as well. The Browns could be down two tight ends against the Bengals. David Njoku with an ankle injury and Farrow Brown in concussion protocol. The worst of them, linebacker Jacob Phillips. He likely has a season-ending pec injury, according to Kevin Stefanski.